doing a little bit more than our We had a chance to get him back home and give him some tests. But <clears throat> right now, you know, he, nobody would have been comfortable putting him in. If it's a concussion, coach, would yeah. he? If it's a concussion, would he play next week? And that's the last idea. Would it, would I have, have an MD at my name. <laughs> Joe, why did you go after Bowman got hurt? Why did you go to McGloin and not Newsom? Well, because you know we were still in that thing, and uh, Newsom's got a, probably you know is a better athlete. But McCoy's a little bit more stable. I wanted to get him to switch over. I didn't want to uh, stick Newsom in a situation where uh, yeah, he wasn't quite ready for it because he's not. Uh, the other kids, are, you know, the other kids been with us. Again. The other kids not exactly the two first. How do you think? He was a walk on. How do you think McGloin played? And you did, you were able to get Newsom in there some. How do you think he did when he got in there? Who? McGloin and Newsom. I thought he did well, except for the one that's really got hungry. No, no, you know, that's what happens in, you know, you start throwing the ball one touchdown pass and they're all easy. <laughs> that's the one so easy. Because you were looking for more enthusiasm, you, you feel you had some bounce here? I thought we had a little more bounce here. I really did. I thought we had, I thought, you know, the sideline was better. I thought the, uh, you know, we took off, even though at times we got fooled with the slant. That's a, that's really a, a good down group of guys. Those two inside guys are tough. And I think overall, uh, you know, we, we hung in there, and, uh, and uh, I was pleased with the Hey Joe, how do you think the running game went? You guys still seem to struggle a little bit against a team who doesn't play the run real well. Which is our about? running game? Yeah. I thought they were really better. I thought they were pretty good. Uh, yeah, that, that, uh, yeah, they're not a bad football team. They're a pretty good football team. And so they've been in some tough games. No, I was worried about that whether we could handle the inside people. And then, then you know, they start taking the safeties and start bringing them up around the football to take away some of the wide stuff. So that's when we started out with the idea we were going to run more. But uh, you know, we, they had really committed themselves to take the run away. And Bowman was having a good day. So we had, I think, we probably two, five, six best in the first seven, eight plays, I think. Will McGoin start if, uh, if, uh, if will McGoin start on Saturday if the other guy gets I, you know, I, uh, I'm not going to make up my mind until we have a chance to look at some tapes and, and look at it. If the other kid can't go, if Bowman can't go, then we'll, we'll put the two t other kids in situations, that, you know, tougher situations than they've been in. So, and whichever one seems to be able to handle it. Whatever kind of pressure, because you know we got tough ball game coming up. Yeah, this is a good football. We're gonna score points every time I've seen them. Michigan this year, they've scored a lot of points against a lot of people. So I think we're gonna have to be really good offensively. I don't, I don't know what else we can do yet. You, uh, you had Willis seemed to have a pretty good game back the other day for a kid who was pretty much <coughs> playing for the first time. Willis seemed to have a pretty good game in the secondary today. Well, you know. The, uh, Freshman. Now, I, you know, I, I, I've said it. I, I mean, I, you guys are tired of hearing it, but we're a young football team. It got younger because of so many key injuries. Now we go out and finally get that, uh, that the quarterback over the hump. He was reading pretty good and some things, and we lose him. Now we got to start all over with the other two kids and build up a little confidence in them. And, Make sure what we decide to do with them, they can handle. Because every one of them holds us to a little bit different. Uh, I don't think that probably, probably doesn't answer your question, but that's, that's what I am. Right Joe, I think you said McGloin was a little more stable than Newsom. Well, not stable in the way you might think I, I meant it. I, I mean, he, he, 
has a little bit more. Uh, it, it's not the gifted athlete the other kid is, so he's got to pay attention to his homework. He's got to do homework. Uh, he's got to do a little better job reading. In fact, that's why I was surprised when he threw that second interception because he had a guy wide open underneath. But he had hit the first one and he thought he could hit the second one easy, so he turned deep when he had a wide open guy. But then you, you did choose to put Newsom in. Huh? You did choose to put Newsom in later. Did you? Oh yeah, well, because Newsom can do some things. Yeah. I mean, I gotta get the island in. You gotta get Newsom ready. You gotta get both of them ready if the other kid can't play. They're one play away. So was Kevin hurt at all today? Huh? Was Newsom hurt at all today? He had to sleep. Well, he's, got, to he's got a little problem with an knee. Is that the reason so he came out on that series with the timeout? That was a great, there must have been something. I, what I tried to do was I tried to get the guys upstairs. I, what I told them was, I said, we'll keep Newsom right here and we'll use him for certain situations. I, I wanted to throw the ball a couple of times early with Newsom because uh, I wanted them to worry a little bit about it because he's got a good arm. Uh, and then he, I thought maybe he'd have a better chance of running if he needed it. You know, when you go in the, sh in the, in the shotgun, you, the guy's got to be a runner. Quarterback's got to be a runner. It's single way. And every time we put Bolton in there, you know, he runs around. He looks good, but he doesn't make anything happen.